Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I am not eating. We just got a little sip sip going on, okay? And you'll hit my mama in the background because she cooking dinner. So we just gonna sip sip on this Grey Goose Martini, okay? Oh, that is so good. Anyway, so I wanted to talk to you all today about weight loss surgery. So y'all know I usually do VSG mukbangs, you know. I'm meaning I'm barely eating, <laughs> which, you know, the videos only last a few minutes, but that's okay. It's okay because my stomach is like super small. I'm gonna input a picture here of what it looks like after surgery. Anyway, I wanted to talk to you all about, I have Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama. Hold on. Okay guys, so as I was saying, I'm coming to you talking about weight loss surgery, vertical sleeve gastrectomy to be more precise, and about me having Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alabama and that whole process so i went what happened was my insurance blue cross and blue shield they cover the surgery so there we go they cover the surgery but under the plan that i had with the company that i worked for they didn't have that under you know the weight loss surgery under that plan so they decided to get it for this year and our year starts October 1st. So, when I found out in September that they were going to be getting it, I called. Let me tell y'all what day I called. September 5th of 2018. You know how I remember that day? Because that was the same day I fell and broke my ankle. I called. I made an appointment. And told them we were getting it. And it started in October. They gave me an appointment for October. I went there. Yes, you just interrupted my, I, I am recording. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Jesus. I called, they gave me an appointment. Once they gave me an appointment, it was for like October the 20th or somewhere around there. I left, I fell, I broke my ankle. And then, yeah, I was off for three and a half months. But within those three and a half months that I was off, I did go to my appointment in October after having my surgery on my ankle. When I went to my surgery, they gave me this wonderful little folder. I ended up going to Dr. Mao at uh, St. Vincent's East at Alabama Weight Loss Surgery. That's where I went. And they were... They told me they needed three years of my past medical records. So they needed my 2016, 2017, and 2018 medical records, you know, proving that either my BMI was 40 or above, which it was not, or that it was 35 and above with comorbidities. And comorbidities meaning high blood pressure, diabetes, sleep apnea, things of that sort. So, I, at the time, the only thing I knew I had was high blood pressure. I mean, I had been told I probably had sleep apnea when I had surgery on my ankle. And the anesthesiologist, you know, I was coming back from being, like, way out of it. And they told me that. So, As I was saying, while I'm sip sipper, I went, they gave me this folder. I needed three years to show that I had comorbidities with a BMI of 35 and higher. And it didn't matter where it came from. I, every appointment, I, like every doctor's appointment that I could find, I think I gave them from American Family Care for like two years. Two years worth of American Family Care, and then um, one from my OBGYN. Long as it documented my blood pressure and my BMI, that's all they wanted. 
my weight and my blood pressure. So as long as they documented it, I was covered. That's fine. So they gave me this folder. I did that. I turned that in. I sent that in an email to um, the lady. And then um, they gave me a form, which is a primary care clearance letter for my primary care physician to fill out. And I went to him. I had to go to him for six months. So I called after I left the doctor's office. I called back a couple days later and I was like, does the weight that you all took count towards that six months? She said, no. I made an appointment right then and there with my primary care physician for the month of October. So I was like, okay, I need October, November, December, January, February, March. Six months, that's all I had to have. I went for six months to my primary care physician. Got weighed, got my blood pressure checked, all of that good stuff. <laughs> and on the last one, he gave me an appointment anyway. Just to see if... Don't pay them no mind. She on phone my sister. Uh, she, he gave me an appointment anyway. Just, you know, in case I needed more than six months. In case I needed seven months. But they said seven. I mean six. So I went ahead for the six months. That paperwork, he turned in all six months of those pap of that paperwork. He turned in that primary care clearance letter also. My lab work had already been done when I went the first time to Alabama Weight Loss Surgery. I did not have to have a psyche valve, but I am technically already seeing a psychiatrist. So, I mean, I figure it will be covered anyway, you know? So, I had to go have a sleep study done. And I found out I had sleep apnea, so I went ahead, since I have medical spending through where I work, I went ahead, because I think I allowed it for the most, the, the highest, which is like 1500 And so because I allowed it for the 1500 I was like, cool beans, I'm good. I can pay stuff that, you know, I knew I wanted to have the surgery. <laughs> so I allowed it for that 1500 So I bought my CPAP. Got all that together, had that done, they turned in all the paperwork. I went back, I think in March, because I had to go, I think either in March or April to have that checked. No, I went in March to have it checked. So the longest part afterwards was waiting to find out from your insurance company that you are cleared for surgery and that they will cover it. So, the longest part is waiting to see, did I get a surgery date? Did I get, you know, did I get a surgery date? Did I get a surgery date? So, finally got that call. And they were like, okay, we need you to go for, um, oh, and also I had to do this, which I need to go back to. I think it's this weekend, actually. Saturday. But um, it's the St. Vincent's E Surgical Weight Loss Thanks for Wellness Support Group Meeting. I need to go to one since I've had my surgery. I haven't been to one. So I think I'll, I'll go. Um, I don't know. So <clears throat> they sent me an email after they called me and let me know that I was approved for surgery. They sent me an email. And it had all of the information in it of the date, which I had my surgery on, 5-2-2019, which I was like, okay, after the wedding, that works out. And so, it gives you instructions. And it says the nutrition class information. They scheduled the nutrition class for me, and they told me I needed to be there at 6. 45 that Wednesday morning of the 24th of April which you know I met my girl Sonya there hey Sonya and um whew. so I had to be there at 6 45 that morning and admitting just so I could get all my paperwork done and everything they did call me beforehand so I could pay for it and all that stuff beforehand and I also paid for my hospital stay, which was $100 with my copay. 
And so um, did that, went to the nutrition class. So the nutrition class was $80, had to pay for that. That was fine. Medical spending, paid for it, and gotten it. They are so loud. Sorry, guys. I am so sorry how loud they are. Y'all loud. Mom. Okay. So, then I had to go have pre-admission testing done at the, on the same day. So, after the class was done, we went and I had pre-admission testing. Then I, had a doc then I went to go see the doctor and they did all my blood work there as well. So, they gave me the pre-op diet, and they told me the date that I started my pre-op diet was 4-25-2019, which was on a Thursday. I had to do it for a week. So, my pre-op diet was <clears throat> a liquid diet, basically. That's, it's a full liquid diet, except for the night before, the day before surgery is clear liquid. So, you all know I was at work. Like, don't, talk, don't come at me wrong. The only clear liquid I want is this, but I couldn't have this. I'm sorry how loud she is. I'm going to um, post a picture of this diet for you. So you'll see, you know, if you ever want to do like a pouch reset, this diet is the diet you go by. People do do pouch resets. We'll cover that on the next video that I do about this. Um, I had to do that, and it's two pages basically, and it's like follow the diet the day before surgery as well. But yeah, nothing to eat or drink after midnight. So I got there to the hospital at like 6 30 that morning, it was super early. My mom had to go with me, we went in. I was nervous but I wasn't that nervous but I had a really good experience with my surgery I'm just gonna tell you that now I had a wonderful experience it was nothing like I mean go look at my Lola's weight loss journey page and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about like it was nothing like some of these other people like I had surgery I got up they had already checked to make sure I didn't have any, uh, you know, no leakage of anything while I was laying down on the table still. So, that was fine. Um, while I was there, I spent the night in the hospital. So, what, what happened was, after surgery, I went back to my room. Baby, they had lunch right there for me. I was like, oh, thank you, but I'm not hungry, but I guess I need this. So, the broth was disgusting. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest, it didn't have any flavor whatsoever. Um, it was it was disgusting. It was too watered down. So, my mouth was really dry, which, after surgery, your mouth is really dry. I think everybody has that where your mouth is just like so freaking dry it's like you've been sucking on cotton the whole time like you're just sitting there with cotton in your mouth chewing on it or something so after that I got up I walked around because you know they have you walk around or whatever I had no problems walking there's one lady I saw in the hallway she was kind of just like She's like, you look good. I'm like, ooh, you look bad. But I didn't say, ooh, you look bad. I'm sorry, you know. I'm sorry. If you if you see this, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But I'm hoping that you are doing wonderfully since your surgery, honey. But um, I did not have a bad time at all. And um, one of my friends told me that she was like, I'm convinced you did not have the surgery. Let me see your scars. I'm going to show you all my scars, too. She was just like, I'm convinced you didn't have a surgery because you, you shouldn't be able to. And I don't have any problems with any foods, guys. None. Like, people have problems with certain foods after. I've tried all of them at this point. It's 
except for lamb. That's the only thing I had. You know, I like, I had lamb in that hot pot. Sure did. And I ain't had no problems with lamb. I hadn't had duck. So, yeah. But that's it for the first part. I just, you know, wanted to come to you and let you know a few things or whatever. She... So, I, what I'm going to do, I'm done with today's, with this one, video. Okay, I can't have no more martini. Jesus. <laughs> Ma. Woo. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I am so sorry for the commotion. Next time, it will be quieter, hopefully. I'm going to put the dog outside, and I'm going to make sure she ain't here. Okay? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you. You don't need to drink Elmo again in life. Why? Bye. <laughs>